We are in Titan versus Verdus Pro here on season. And you know what's the funniest thing about this? I have never even casted this map or seen it before. So after this round, I'm just going to update everything very quickly for you guys. But we should be good to go. It's Verdus Pro versus Titan. You guys asked for it. You're going to get it. Let's see what's going to happen. Neo's making his way through Vents at the second. He's going to find Shoxy. Takes him down. Of course, Shoxy, the player with the player of the year with his AWP on Inferno, and I do apologise if my knowledge of this map is terrible, guys. And I know I shouldn't be apologising, but I do not know this map whatsoever. <laughs> so it's going to be an interesting one, to say the least, indeed. But you guys asked for it, you're going to get it. MBK finishes out Neo, though. It's only Pasha by Ali and Taz. Going up against MBK, Scream, and Smith by the looks of things. Pasha's going to try to make his way over towards B. The bomb is actually over towards A by the looks of things at the second. Pasha's going to meet up with the player there. That's going to be Scream going down. Headshot spray coming in by Pasha. Man advantage is in favour of Verdus Pro. They've already got three rounds on the board. This is going to be a big round if Titan can take this one. But the bomb's going to be going down. Smith is going to find a player there. Great headshot coming into by Ali. He has been knocked down to 12 HP though. Let's see if they're going to be able to take this one out. As soon as this round is over, I am going to update things on the stream. And uh, make sure that you guys can see. And McKay's going to get another one though. Pasha is going to reply. So now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Smith on 12 HP. Going to throw a grenade into there. He's going to try and go for the defuse as well. And what a grenade from Smith. Oh my god. Is he going to be able to get the defuse? Let's have a look. Yes, he is. Smith goes clutch. Right, guys. I'm just going to very, very quickly indeed switch things up for you guys. Titan versus Virtus. Dot Pro. In the title. Let's update that. The name of the caster is Chewy. People wondering about it, so it's Chewy. Yeah. Karam is not here at the second. Unfortunately, he's uh, he's indisposed this evening, so it's going to be Chewy bringing you the action on season here between the IEM Kadavici champions who didn't have the best start earlier on. They lost against Wizards, which was incredibly interesting indeed, against Titan, of course, who didn't play very well at Katowice at all, unfortunately. 41% of people predicted them to win, and they got pretty much destroyed in the group stages, so that was very interesting indeed, but they did manage to get their first round on the board here against Rodas Pro. Snacks is going to see so many invents as well. Smith is going to reply with an op shot into by Ali. He is the last one left alive in a 1 versus 3 though, so he needs to back away from this and not challenge anything silly. And let's see what he's going to do. He's going to be chased down by Snacks though at the second. Flashman is coming in towards the B-bomb site by the looks of things at the second. Let's see what's going on. But who are your predictions for for this game? Smith is so great with that orb. I love him. Taking down Snacks there. And Taz and Neo aren't on much XP whatsoever. Neo is going to find him and take him down. Just going to make sure that I can see everything, guys, so you're all happy to go. And you're all happy with this game. But I hope you're enjoying it. I hope everything is good. And uh, I'm certainly enjoying bringing you all of the games this evening. I'm absolutely shattered, though. So into round number six here on season. It's going to be Verdus Pro against Titan, as you can see, obviously. 4-1 is your score. Verdus Pro managing to shut down Titan there. Which means that, once again, they're fourth down to Eco onto Pistols. Not much going on whatsoever. So this should be a very quick round to Verdus Pro, but you never quite know. Taz is going to get the first pick onto Shox. MBK replies onto Taz, though, getting the revenge kill. But is going to clean him up, though. Snacks is going to come around the corner, try and pick up as many as possible. He is going to come around and pick two up as well to finish them off. Scream and Smith's finding the muzzle of Neo's AK-47. 5-1 it is. Titan should be able to buy here, or... Maybe they, yeah, they are going to force it up. Smith has got the Swag 7 in hand. They know that they need to get some rounds on the board. So it's going to be Famas's, which is, of course, the French gun of choice in the army in real life, I do believe. And then Smith is going to have a uh, Swag 7 in hand. So let's see what's going to happen here in round number 7. Grenade's going down from MBK. Smoke's going down as well. Let's see if he can spot anybody coming through that section of the map. Doesn't look like he's going to find anybody right now. Snacks, it is the, the man on the screen's order director. Switches it over to him, but Smith with the swag seven into the face. Brains of Snacks splattered all over the back wall there. Bialy's going to see him if he comes around the corner. Shoxy gets taken down as a revenge kill. Thanks to Neo. Bialy's going to get another one as well. And this is what's so great about Virtus Pro is that even if they get a player going down... They so quickly bring things back in their favour, and they so, so, so 
quickly just switch the momentum in their favour. Neo does go down though. He was only on 10 HP. Pasha's going to reply with his big green gun, the AWP. He's such a strong player with that weapon. It's going to be Scream and NBK, the last two left alive. Scream, one of the players. Full Titan is on your screen. Looks like he's going to back away though at the second. It's going to be MBK. He's going to find three players in front of them. They are walking at the second, but he's going to know where they are now. They are starting to make their way into A. Smoke grenade's going down. By Ali's being able to get on the site. Scream's going to be right in front of him though. Is Scream going to spot him? Yes, he does. Wrong timing there for By Ali. Unfortunately for him, that smoke grenade completely distracting him. MBK's going to find another one as well. And now all of a sudden, as soon as I say that Furnace Pro is so great at getting the man advantage in their favour quickly, Titan are answering back and doing the same. And what looked like a great round for Verdus Pro has suddenly turned in favour of Titan. MBK's going to finish them up. That is why they are one of the best teams in Counter-Strike, ladies and gentlemen. 5-2 is your score. Oh, I tell you what. I am shattered. But I'm having fun all the same. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. So, on to round number 8. 5-2 it is. That is Pro still looking strong, but Titan... They're going to have some good momentum going their way. And having a look at the way the T side is going, it looks like it's going to be a firm commitment towards B. The only player I believe actually not going to be there, I think, is uh, Pasha at the second, although I can't see the numbers on the map. Unfortunately, Molotov's going down and everything to try and slow them down. MBK is going to get one by Ali getting the revenge kill and replying, taking him out, meaning it's going to be a 4 on 4 situation. The bomb should be planted on B here if Taz can get it down in quick fashion. They failed to get the bomb down in the last round. They've been able to get it this time. Now all the work is in the favour of Titan as they've got to try and push in here. Take down four players. Bialy is on 11 HP though, so that's going to play an advantage for Titan, but they've still got to try and push in here and get the bomb defuse as well. Existence is going to find one. Taking down Pasha. Shocks is going to take down Bialy. And once again, they're looking so great with these takes. Snacks is right in front of Shoxy. He's going to be able to get in. That's two. He's going to get the hat trick. No, he's not. Taz takes him down. He's going to get finished up. Is the defuse going to come in? I'm going to listen to see if we can hear it. Fuse comes in the Titan. Lovely take on the B bombs like there. That's the way you guys want to learn how to take the B bomb site on season. You had a very, very, very good example of it. And finally, an English cast. I'm glad that you're enjoying it, my friend. Glad that you are liking an English cast here. I'm sorry that it's not on HLTV or anything like that, but I only thought I was going to be casting two games today, and I've ended up doing four. Certainly not complaining them. Into round number nine here on season. Verdus Pro versus Titan. IEM Kadovici champions against the IEM Kadovici favourites who went out in the group stages. But still looking very strong indeed. Both teams able to buy here from what we can see so far. MBK at the top. The bomb is actually slightly heading towards A at the second. Although you never know they could start to make a rotation. Three players in mid there from... Uh, Titan at the second. Smith is going to find one with his up though. Taking down Snacks. Pasha is going to go down as well. Smith with the second of the round. Neo takes down Smith though. So no more for him in this. Neo's going to get the spray and take down Scream as well. Still the man advantage is in favour of Titan. Shoxy with an AWP as well. Shuts down Neo but Existence is on 3 HP. Taz still with all of the work to do. The bomb has been planted. But uh, you know Titan has been looking very great with their takes on bomb sites. Even with four Virtus Pro players up. So the fact that Taz is on his own now is really not going to play very well for them. He does manage to get one. MBK shuts him up. Plenty of time left on the clock for the defuse. And now it's going to be 4-5. Still in favour of Virtus Pro. But Titan are looking strong indeed. Let's have a look at the buy situation for Virtus Pro. I don't think they're going to force this up. Maybe they are. I thought they weren't going to buy it up. And they've proved me wrong. So hashtag blame Chewy. They've done exactly what I thought they may not. And let's have a look and see what they're going to do here. We've got th three Galils and two AK-47s. There's AKs, Kalashnikovs in the hands of Taz and Neo as well. Making their way towards B. Last time they tried to do this, it did not work in their favour at all. They managed to get the bomb down. They had four alive and Titan just shut them down in such phenomenal fashion. But having a look at things, actually, MBK is going to be the only player here to meet them. So, Virtus Pro pretty much got free entry onto the site. Unless MBK can shut them down, he's not going to be able to. And the force buy looks like it could play off here. But Smith is going to have something to do with that. He's going to take down Neo. Shox is going to come out of the corner. 
Pasha shuts him down with a headshot with the Galil. Such a strong weapon. Existent answers back though. Taz with the revenge kill onto him. It's a two versus three. And the force by Viper Verdus Pro, sorry, has worked out so far. Screen and Smith. Smith on his own with an AWP. He's going to save that if he's got any sense whatsoever. Verdus Pro failed to take that B bomb site last time. They're not going to fail to do it again. By the looks of things. Chewie, are you in any teams as a caster? No, I am not. I did have a... Um, well, I was going to have an affiliation with Reason Gaming, but unfortunately things didn't go quite ahead. Kyanite, who is the man whose channel that you are on, obviously does have an affiliation with Reason Gaming, and his actual Twitter is at Reason Gaming TV, so he does indeed. But at the minute, no, I am completely freelance. I do cast other FPS esports titles. Counter-Strike being my main one now. And... Uh, Yep, so I'm completely freelance. Anyway, here we go. Galil game strong. Kappa says Zuki, I agree. 6-4 is your score. Virtus Pro managing to extend the lead once again. Lots of flashes going down towards existence here. MBK, Shoxi, and Scream. One pistols though the second. Smith has been able to keep his arm, but Scream takes down by Ali with a headshot with a pistol. And MBK gets another one onto Neo! What is going on here? The Virtus Pro, this is certainly an interesting one. This shows top level counter strike action. The bomb is going to get planted though. Existence still with his M4 in hand. It's a 3 versus 4. Man advantage in favour of Titan, but the gun advantage you would say slightly in favour of Virtus Pro just because they all have assault rifles, a Kalashnikov, and two. Well, two Kalashnikovs and a Colt. But MBK, how are you doing this with your CZ75? That's the hatchet with that gun on an eco. Oh my gosh, MBK. Virtus Pro. A couple of rounds ago, they failed to take B with four men left alive. They took it in the last round and looked very strong on there. And suddenly, three players of Titan with pistols and Virtus Pro once again have failed to do it. Six five it is, twelfth round. I'm flagging like crazy. I'm loving it. Well, let's see what's going to happen after the start here. What they're going to do, whether they're going to try and go for B again. It looks like it's going to be a split three, well, two towards B, two towards mid, and two towards A by the looks of things, maybe. And um, we'll have a look. See how they're going to progress through. Wilder's going to try and get one. And he does manage to take that screen there, so that's a good start. And he is going to find one as well. And how did NBK not get that kill? Oh my gosh! NBK got a hat trick with a CZ75 in the last round. What's happened? Smith's going to want to back that onto Neo. He's down to 18 HP though. The bomb's gone down again and Versus Pro still showing their resilience here. And it's just back and forth between these two squads. You cannot call it. And this is why we love Counter-Strike. And this is why we keep coming back for more and more by Ali with two. Is he going to get a hat-trick for the CZ75? No, he is not. Shocks, he shuts him down. It's a two versus three. But Smiths and Shocks with all the work to do because they've got to try and take down three players. And they've got to try and get the defuse as well. Tough task on their hands indeed. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it. Terrorists, win. Terrorists do win. As the game calls out. And uh, they're not able to finish it. They are going to save their weapons. As would be advised. But having a look at the buy situation. It's not really looking too great for Scream and MDK there. Only about $4,000 combined between them. Not even that to be quite honest. So we'll see what they're going to do. They are going to get a CZ75 and an M4 is going to be in play for screen there because somebody dropped for him. So not the worst situation in the world, but all the same, we're into the 13th round here. It's been back and forth between these two squads. It's been absolutely impossible to call. And Virtus Pro have got the lead here by two rounds. And they've got the advantage here with weapons, of course, because MBK is on that pistol. But saying that, he did get a hat trick with it two rounds ago, so you never quite know. Nia's going to spot somebody there. Does take some shots. Getting taken down to 79 HP. In vents at the second. He's going to try and shoot that player down there. Scream's going to try and put some shots down as well into that player. In vents. Just back and forth. Such a crazy position that vents plays there. You just can't see anybody. You've got to spray through it. You're outside. Pasha's going to get one though with his big green gun taking down. Shocks. Is Snack's going to find another player here? We're about to find out. Smoke is starting to go down though. Bomb looks like it's in mid at the second. Scream is going to find a player here. He answers back. It's four versus four. As it stands, Pasha with his second kill of the round. He's going to be able to get a hat trick or a quad. 
We're about to see. Snice is going to try and find somewhere here. Put some shots down. But MBK, we've seen him do it before. He's going to get another one. Yes, again. A headshot with the CZ75. And I said this is back and forth. And I'm not lying when I say it for you guys. With the way that these two teams are going up against each other, this could go right down to the wire. Oh, Pasha missing the shot there. He's going to try and go for it again. Goes for the flick shot. MBK with his second, though. Going to shut down Pasha before he gets his hat trick. MBK on two in the round. MBK with a hat trick. MBK with a quad. The French man of MBK is showing Virtus Pro how to play the CT side on season. MBK with a quad. And that was awesome. Right. Into the next round. Let's have a look at the buy situation. Neo down to a pistol. Buy Ali down to a pistol as well. So if things go according to the script, this should be Titans round. But you never quite know. The bomb's making its way over towards B. You've got to watch out for that mid control as well. It's important for both teams, of course. And whoever is going to hold strong there should take the round. We'll have to see. Snice is going to find a player there. Knocking Smith down to eight. Single HP is going to finish him off through the wall by the looks of things. MBK is playing very, very, very well so far. He's going to try and put some shots down. He's got one kill. And he's already taken that player down, which I believe was either Snacks or Neo. Uh, down to half HP. Regard you know, well, regardless of which player it actually was. I didn't quite spot that, so I do apologise. Great shot by Pasha. Taking down Shoxy. Now the man advantage is actually in favour of Virtus Pro. And they've been able to pick up a weapon. So Neo, the only one with a pistol. But you never quite know. MBK's been looking very, very strong so far. We called him out. Resistance. Headshot. Goodbye to him from Bayali. MBK's going to get another one. And he's just pretty much single-handedly doing all of the work for Titan here. You have to say, he's going to get shut down here though. No, he's not. He's going to get two more. Oh my gosh, MBK! How are you doing this? Please, somebody shut this man down. He got a quad in the last round. That is at least three in this one. Holy... I'm not going to swear, but I'm very close to doing so. Because that's just crazy. Pasha gets cleaned up. The, the bomb defuse is going to come in with MBK once again. 7-7 seven, seven it is in round number 14. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. And MBK, as you would expect, 20-9. to nine, The standout player. Socks and Extents not having the best of games so far. They're 5-12 and 4-12, and and but that's not putting them on blast. You never know. They can always pick it back up. And when you've got a player going 20-9, it's not going to matter too much. Well, I hope you enjoyed that round as much as I did. And here we go, last round of the first half. 7-7 seven, seven it is. We're about to find out who's going to be heading into the second half and into the second pistol round with the lead. Oh, Pro Neo is going to show his pro style, taking out existence. He did not have the best half. Is Neo going to be able to get another one? We're about to find out. He's been able to pick up existence gun. He's going to put some shots down there. Oh, Smith is going to reply back though. He's going to be able to get two. Yes, he is. Smith onto Snacks and onto Taz as well, leaving it onto a three on three. It's by Ali. Pasha and Neo against MBK. Scream and Smith answering back once again to each other. Auto director, please put us on somebody. The bomb has been planted though. MBK, I think, could be the man of the hour. So I'm going to switch on board with him before auto director makes me cry anymore with the fact that it doesn't want to put me on a player. He's still got that AK 47. But the bomb has been planted. So this is going to be very good in here. Oh my gosh. Smith down to 15 HP. He's got that AWP. But he's going to try and find him. He does eventually take him out. Peeking around the corner over time. And this is the time for MBK now. He's been playing so well so far. He's still on 100 HP at the second. But he's got two players up against him. He is going to get shut down here. Eventually they manage to kill MBK. And Virtus Pro go into the half. 8, 7. Uh, now my game has crashed because of the halfway mark. So guys give me 2 seconds. I will be reloading. But do not worry. I will be back in 2 seconds with the game. I can promise you that. It's just at the halfway mark. On certain servers it does decide to crash. But I will be back in two seconds. And then we'll be back going. I promise you. So let me just switch over to the intermission screen. Once again I do apologise for that. But we'll be back in a couple of seconds time. Just connecting back to the server now. As quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah MB King. NB King. 
so it looks like we're just getting ready for the start of the second half here. Things are going to start to go what you would expect them to go. The game will be starting for five seconds. So there we go, just keeping themselves warm. 87 is though at the halfway mark. I'm sorry for my pauses, guys. I've just got to keep drinking. Got to keep going. Gold number one. Yeah, oh, yeah. I am a noob. I am the worst player at this game in existence. I am literally the worst. I am terrible at this game. This is why I cast it. Because I'm so bad. So, uh, you are more than welcome to go spamming with hashtag blame Chewy in the chat. I will more than happily take any form of abuse coming my way because of my rank. Because I am literally the worst. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. But I love it. I've only been playing it for the past few months, guys. I only got into Counter-Strike in December. So please forgive me. But here we go. We're into the second half. 8-7 is your score. Shox, he's going to be able to get the first kill onto Snacks. So by the looks of things, Shox, he's going to be able to get a second. Yes, he does. That's two for him. He's going to be able to get the bomb down. And please don't, don't tell me that my game is frozen again. I have a feeling that it may have. Unless we've got a pause, which I don't think we do because the clock's still running down. I think we may have an issue with the game. So I'm just going to take it over to the other screen. I do apologise, guys. It's just one of those things that happens. We're going to try and shut it down and see what's gone on. It looks like it is working, though. So we're just going to try one more time, connect back up to the game. And then we'll see what we can do for you. So I do apologise for the pause in action here. But there's nothing I can do when the game crashes. Just put a hashtag blame Chewy. And then you'll be good to go. Is it paused? Do you know that for a fact? I'll have to see. It looks like it is paused. Okay, so I'm not too sure what's going on there at the second. I'm not sure why there's a pause going on. Okay, so it was paused. A nip covering this then. We'll see what's going on in a second and why there are issues. Tell you what we're going to do guys. We're just going to go for a quick break. Um... Yeah. Okay, it is Paul. So, guys, what we're going to do is I'm just going to have a... Oh, no. As soon as I say that, it's back. As soon as I say that we're going to go for a quick break, it comes straight back again. And now, suddenly, the game's decided to lag on me and not... I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm not sure if my Counter-Strike has just had enough because it has been going for God knows how many hours straight today. But it looks like... I think it could be another pause once again. So, what looked like was good to go. It's gone. Thank you, Consistency. I do appreciate that. So, guys, I'm just going to wait and see what's going on. And try and find out what's happening here. And then we'll be right back. So I'm just going to put some... What's going on? As soon as I say that I'm going to go for a pause. It just keeps playing again. And we keep coming back into this. So let's jump back on board with the game. And see what's going to happen. It's Taz and Bayali going up against Existence and Shoxy. Thank you so much to everybody tuning in. I didn't know that Nick were covering this one. Otherwise I'm not sure if I would have covered it. Because there were a lot of people asking me to cover it. But at the same time I thought nobody English was covering this one. But it seems that Nip are. So, Taz is going to be able to get the defuse. We're back. We've not got any more issues by the looks of things. They're trolling me. They are trolling me. How dare they. Kamsudos, once again, just remind you, my friend, we will make sure we get you mod. Do not worry about that, my friend. I'll talk to Kylight soon, so make sure that you tune in again and we'll get you mod because of the help that you gave us today. And it wasn't covering it when they planted. They weren't planning on covering the game. But they did what I did. Lag on me. There shouldn't be lag on me. I'm not dropping any frames. I've not got any issues whatsoever. Thank you so much, Tactical Monkey. I'm staying here and chilling. I do appreciate that. So, Nip are covering the game now, but so... Um, Alright, so here we go. Virtus Pro did manage to take the pistol round there. And it looks like they're going to be able to take the next round as well. As pretty much all of them get shut down. 
Scream is going to be the last one left alive here at 1 versus 5. He is going to get spotted in towards Vents there. Snacks has got his Nova in hand. Looks like they're going to find him any second. Shots coming through from Pasha into Vents. Straight through the wall. 10-7 it is. Virtus Pro looking good. If you guys missed it earlier on, I'm not sure. Um, uh, I'm not sure like if you guys watched it earlier on, but Virtus Pro played against Wizards on Inferno. And a lot of people were putting their skins, putting their money, putting everything on Virtus Pro to take that game. And they lost 16-10. Existence did leave the lobby there for a second, but he is back by the looks of things. So, they have actually forced up here. We're in the third round of the second half. It's 10-7, as you can see at the top of your screen, in favour of Virtus Pro. They are six rounds away from closing out this game against Titan. The Kadovici champions playing well, although they didn't play very well earlier on in the day, which was such a shame. Hopefully you're not getting any lag, guys. Hopefully the quality is okay. I'm not dropping any frames. It's all good on my screen. So we're good to go. And yeah, that is a shame for existence. He did drop out, and he's only got $800 as well. But they have forced up here, so they have got head armor. And they have got AK-47s in hand as well, apart from Smiths, by the looks of things. Let's see what they're going to do. Looks like they're going to be making themselves known towards A at the second. MBK is going to spot a player there. He looks so strong whenever he's able to pick up an AK-47 on the CT side earlier on. Getting God knows how many kills in a row. And he's looking strong already. Pash is going to miss some shots into that player there. Eventually taking out existence with the headshot. Now it's a three on three. But the problem is, is that although the bomb's been planted, the HP advantage is actually in favour of Virtus Pro. MBK with another big kill though. Shocks is going to get shut down. It's now Smiths against the world. Or actually against Neo and Snacks. He does get shut down. It's going to be 11-7. Virtus Pro with a great take on to the A-bomb site. And what's that going to do to Titan now? What's that going to do to the mental game of them? We will have to see. Thank you so much, ODS93. Again, you've been really nice throughout the chat. I do appreciate it here. You've been here for quite a few hours, so thank you. Man, for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all of you for watching. It's been a very long night. We hit something like 3,700 viewers, which is pretty nutty. Didn't expect that whatsoever. So, a bit of lag coming in. That is GoTV. That's not me whatsoever. I can promise you it should all be good on my screen. And we are in to the 19th round here. 11 7 it is. Scream. Only down to a P250 at the second. We've got two Gellers and two ak 47 So once again, forcing up for Titan by the looks of things. An AWP in the hands of Pasha. Something that I would not want to come up against. Yeah, more game knowledge. I definitely need more game knowledge. Again, I'm new to the game. I definitely need more game knowledge. But I will learn in time. I'm definitely committed to doing it. MBK is going to apply to Taz, though. He's going to get a second one as well. Is he going to get the... Th oh, my gosh. Yes, he does get the hat trick indeed. And this is the thing. He's been, he's been a difference maker. He's been the one keeping Titan alive. Without NBK and his crazy hat tricks like that that just come in so quickly, I really feel that Titan would be in even more trouble than they are right now. Snags is going to try and get one. Is he going to get finished up here by MBK? He puts the spray down, but Snacks actually replies and goes, MBK, you can do what you like. I'm still going to be able to get you. But still, Titan just about able to close that round out. 11-8 is your score, as you do see. And I'm working on my casting, guys. Do not worry. It's all good experience. I've been shoved in the deep end with casting and Counter-Strike. And that's the way that I love it. So, we're looking forward to the next round here. We're on round number 20, I believe. 11 is your score. Let's see what's going to happen. It looks like the bomb is heading its way towards B. And by the looks of things, as you can see, Virtus Pro are on an eco. MBK once again with another kill. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. It's 26 and 14. Doing very, 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 very well indeed. And of course, because it existed, did disconnect. We can't see his full score overall. So he's not just going 0 and 2 in the game, of course. But that's just for his score since he's been able to join. Back. And I do apologise if Nightbot is in the way. But uh, Virtus Pro in a tricky situation only on pistols. Pash is going to try and push through. He is going to be able to. No, he's not going to be able to pick up existence. As existence only on 24 HP does shut him down. MBK with an incredible spray there. Definitely one player. Nobody would really want to face up against if they had anything, if they could help it. 
And Taz is going to be the last one left alive. He's only got a P250, so he's just going to back away. Not really going to do too much. They're going to try and chase him down, though. Rightly so. Taz is going to find one, though. Shox is going to shut him down. All five left alive at the end of the 20th round for the French squad of Titan. 11 to 9. Two rounds between the two teams. Not long left to go. We've got a maximum of nine rounds left in this game. And, yeah, this is a thrilling match. It's certainly one... Again, for the ages, certainly one to remember. And let's see what's going to happen here in the next round. I'm definitely starting to flag here. It's been a long, long evening of casting, but it's all good. The bomb looks like I think it's in vents actually at the second. I can't see because my game is actually smaller than full screen at the second, but I think it's in vents right now. You've got one player which will be Shoxy just hanging back, seeing if anybody's going to be pushing through the flank from A by the looks of things. Still a very, very slow round between these two teams. No picks yet. We've got one minute, two seconds left on the clock. Yeah, MBK is just going off. Yeah, believe me, this is GoTV lag. If there's any lag going on whatsoever, it's GoTV. I'm not dropping any frames. I'm not having any issues in coding. So if there's any lag whatsoever that you see on the stream, I can promise you that it is GoTV. Yeah, is he going to get the first pick of the round? He's going to get taken down to 16 HP though. It looked like he was going to be able to strongly get that first kill. But not going to happen. Smith is going to try and push through. Let's see if he's going to be able to pick up anybody whatsoever. Snacks has got the orc disc round. Usually it's going to be Pasha with the man with that gun in hand. But they've decided to get to Snacks here off the start. Neo is going to be able to get the first kill. Screen does reply though. Picking up two. Actually, uh, yeah, no, Smith picked up one. Screen picked up two. Shoxy picked up another one. Now it's going to be left up to Taz again. This should be 11-10. Unless Taz can do something absolutely spectacular. We'll switch on board with him for now. But he's going to be met somebody coming from behind over towards A. I don't know where he is right now. And he's just going to try and save this M4A4 as he should do. Okay, cool. Yeah, the crazy lag probably was good TV lag before the half. Somebody predicting that Vers Pro are going to lose the game. That will be very interesting indeed to see if they do. They are five rounds away from being able to take the game. Titan, after winning this one, they're only going to be six away. And heading into the uh, 22nd round, I do believe. Let me work out, yeah. Heading into the 22nd round, one round difference between the two squads. And having a look at it, I don't think Vers Pro are going to force up anything here. Taz was able to keep the M4 because nobody spotted him. We've got CZ75 coming in from Bialy, a 5.7 from Snacks, and I think a P250 from Neo. But, uh, of course, Titan with a heavy, heavy advantage here. Let's see what they're going to do on the T side. Turn back on Auto Director so you can see what's going on across the board. And see what's going to happen. The bomb looks like it could be making its way towards A, although it's going to be going there very, very slowly. Snacks is going to find a play around the corner with his 5.7. He's going to call that out. Let's see if he's going to be able to pick up anybody. Still another slow round from what we've seen so far. Still no kills. Pasha has been taken down to 15 HP. Bialy taking down Shoxy to 15 HP as well. And now, all of a sudden, Verdus Pro are looking very, very good indeed. They've got three pistol kills in a row. How are they doing this, Titan? When they're put, you know, when their backs are against the wall, they seem to perform, and it's exactly the same with Virtus Pro. When their backs are against the wall and they're ecoing, suddenly out of nowhere, they're just able to pick things up. They've been able to get weapons now. They're going to be able to get another kill, and Scream is left in a one v four. He's going to pick up Pasha, but still, this is looking bleak for Titan. What looked like a very strong round to start with, after the fact that they had four AK forty sevens and an M four A four in hand, and Virtus Pro only had pistols. That is why they are champions. That is why people class them as one of the best teams in the entire world. And it's examples like that of why they were able to beat Nip 2-0 in the grand finals of Katowice. And Solid Snakes, I agree. Oh. My. God. Well, ten is your score. Round number 23. Pasha gets shut down by Smith. He took too long to pull the trigger. 
Nia's been taken down to 21 HP. Smith gets another one. Again, when their backs are up against the wall, they seem to perform. Nia's going to try and respond, though. Scream, 20 HP to his name. He's going to find a player. He's going to get aggressive, as all of the French do. He still goes down, though. To Snacks, Taz is going to apply again with a two-man spray, MBK. If anybody on the Titan squad is going to be able to get a one versus three clutch, it's going to be this man, so never, ever, ever count him out. He's going to spot Snacks there. Going to make sure that he can get the kill. One shot into him. Oh my gosh, MBK taking out Neo as well. And now the pressure is on Taz. Is he going to get another one? Oh, MBK spotted him as well. He's put a couple of bullets into him. But with 48 seconds left... MBK's got to do something quickly. He's got to try and find a kill. How is this even happening? Oh, this is just one crazy, crazy, crazy game. 33 seconds left on the clock. Is MBK going to be able to get it? Yes, he does indeed. Oh my gosh, MBK. You are the best. What a clutch. NB. King. This is one phenomenal game. I'm so glad I'm able to bring this for you guys. I hope you're enjoying it. I know other people are covering it. I know there are other more experienced casters bringing you the action. But I'm more than happy to be bringing it myself to you guys. I really hope you're enjoying it. Neo's got an ult though. Pasha with a CZ75. But regardless of that, you wouldn't count them out of winning any gunfights. Well, of course. If you're Thinking about it uh, logistically and uh, properly, anyway, logically is probably the best word to use that. You can tell it's getting late. I'm losing my words. 12, 11. It is not many rounds left to go. Only six more, I do believe, if my math is correct. Yeah, Nia's got an all. I'm not quite sure about that. Is it going to be another slow round? Bombs in mid at the second. It's going to be making its way through there. You've got three over towards A. Shoxi's going to be able to pick up Pasha, though, straight off the start. That's the CZ75 down. I'm not going to be too worried about that, but of course, taking down Pasha is always going to lead to an advantage. You never want that player left alive if you're up against him. MBK, the man of the hour, is going to be able to get the spray onto Snacks with his AK-47 case. Harder and Shox is going to be able to pick up another kill here. Yes, he is. Onto Taz. He gets taken down to 11 HP. Neo, people question his orping abilities a second ago, asking why he's got one, but he's got one and he's doing work with it. He's got one kill at least, taking out Shox. Two versus four, though. Existence has got the bomb down, so it's Bayali and Nia going up against four French monsters, I think is the only way to describe them so far. And if things go according to plan, it should be all even, 12-12, heading into the 25th round. Still not much going on at the end of this. Half. Doesn't look like anybody's going to be going for anything crazy. Although Bailey's going to spot screen there. He's going to get shut down maybe. Yes he does. Smith shuts him down with an all at the end there. And once again, I, if there are big pauses in my speech, it's just because I'm having some water to make sure that I've got some hydration in me. Twelve, twelve. We're all even here into the 25th round. This has been one hell of a long night of casting, but one hell of an awesome one at the same time. Virtus Pro, the Poles, the IEM Kadovici champions, holding strong on 12 rounds. Titan, the Kadovici favourites, who didn't do very well, holding strong as well, and holding even stronger with the first pick in the 25th round. Smith is going to get two onto Neo and Bialy. Screen gets another one. Taz answers back. Smith with the hat trick. Is this going to be Titan's time to start to run away with a game? Maybe so. Swift fashion. Shoxy, the only casualty there for the French squad. They're going to try and get the bomb down in time. I don't think it happened just to give them that extra money, but still. 13 to 12. <clears throat> and my voice is definitely going. I'm glad that I've got a break from casting tomorrow because I'm definitely going to need it. So, they are going to force up here. Virtus Pro, they know that this is do or die soon. They've got M4s and Famasses. Well, Neo's got a Famas anyway. But they haven't got much money after this. They've only been able to get a few smoke grenades. A few flashes and a few decoys as well. Not really too much going on. And I have a feeling I could sneeze. So I do apologise if I sneeze. I'm going to try my best not to. Try and make sure it goes away. 19 seconds left on the clock. Still no casualties here in the 26th round.
Shoxi with two. On to by Ali and Taz. How did he quite manage to pull that one off? I'm not too sure, but still, great kills coming in. Neo you know, Pasha and Snacks, the last three left alive for the Polish squad. They're making their way into the bomb site here. On to A. Let's see if they're going to be able to get the bomb down soon enough. Looks like they are going to be able to. And by the looks of things, Virtus Pro aren't even going to challenge. Unless they can do something miraculous, take them all out and then run to the other side of the map and get the bomb defused. Scream is going to have something to say against. It's going to be 14-12. And Titan are going to be two rounds away from taking the victory. Such a close game. Fourteen, twelve, into the 27th round. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for tuning in here to Kai Night Stream. If you don't know, my name is Chewy. I've been bringing you all of the action this evening and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. If you don't know where to find me on social media, you can go and say hello to me. My Twitter is at It's Chewy. That's I-T-S-C-H-E-W-W-Y. But if you want to follow the owner of this channel, please go and follow Kai Knight at Reason Gaming TV. Of course, you can also follow the stream as well. Shoxy's going to get two. Scream's going to finish off the third there. Neo and Bayali, the last two left alive. And we've got a bit of lag there. That is Go TV lag. That's not me, I can promise you. Scream's going to get another one. Bayali, last one left alive. Virtus Pro have not had the best of days today. 15-12, match point for Titan. I love you too, Soda Swag. 1337. I love you too. And thank you, Richie Richie One. I do appreciate it. And this pro lost their game on Inferno against the Spaniards of Wizards, which nobody expected, and they lost it 16 10. Very interesting game. Of course, you can watch all of the, the past broadcasts here on Reason Gaming TV. Uh, well, on Reason Gaming TV's channel, that's Kynite's Twitter, but on Kynite's channel here on Twitch, you can watch all of it again. So make sure you go and check out this past broadcast if you want. Also on YouTube, I will try and post it in the description. Well, in the chat later on, we saw a crazy game between Virtus Pro and uh, Courage yesterday, which managed to end 15-15. So Virtus Pro on a bit of a decline recently by the looks of things. They're not having the best of games. I'm not taking anything away from them because I absolutely love Virtus Pro. They are one of my favourite teams of all time. But now it's a two-on-two two at the second. Shoxy's doing some great work. It's Snacks and Bialy against Smith and Shoxy. And come on, Auto Director, please. This thing has been frustrating me all night. Now it's up to Snacks. He's going to be last one left alive. It's 15-12. It's Snacks against the world. Is he going to be able to finish this off and make it 15-13? Or is it going to be GG's? We're about to find out. Smith's pulling out his Karambit fade. Chewie's got one of those as well. Isn't it funny that a gold Nova like myself has got a... Karen bit fade, but who cares about that when Smith closes it off? 16-12 is your final score here between the two squads.